What is up, guys? Welcome back to the Wildcast. Hope you're all doing well out there. In this video, we're going to be talking about the Virginia Roberts versus Alan Dershowitz civil lawsuit that is going on parallel to all the other cases we're covering, having to do with Prince Andrew and uh, Gillian Maxwell and Virginia Roberts. So this is one of the many civil lawsuits that are proceeding. And I have a significant update here that I want to share with you guys. And that is because Alan Dershowitz has revealed some key people that he plans to and has already deposed in in this civil lawsuit. Okay, so I have some uh, some commentary I want to make about the law here and some of the actions that both parties are doing. So uh, let's get to it. So this was filed on January 4th, uh, which is a couple of days ago. And um, what Alan Dershowitz is saying here is basically that Virginia Roberts' side wants to limit the number of depositions that they can take to 10, which is technically what the baseline for depositions is, uh, according to the Federal Rules of Civil Procedure, um, Rule 30. Okay, so as you guys can see here, depositions by oral examination. Uh, I'm not going to go through all this, but basically what it says is that um, the the parties have the ability to depose up to 10 people without uh, the court's leave. But if you want to uh, examine more than 10 people for your depositions, then you have to get the court's permission. So basically what Alan Dershowitz is asking for is he's asking for Judge Preska's permission to get more than 10 depositions because he has a lot of people he wants to depose to basically disprove the claims that uh, Virginia Roberts has made against him. Now, in a rare uh, occurrence, I actually agree with Alan Dershowitz here because I want as many people involved in this to be deposed as possible because I want the truth, okay? I want to know who's who's lying. I want to know if Virginia Roberts is lying. I want to know who, if Alan Dershowitz is lying. And Alan Dershowitz wants to have more depositions, so I support that because I support the truth and I support the exploration of evidence, real evidence that proves things uh, true or false. So um, I don't know why Virginia Roberts' side is trying to limit the number of depositions. Maybe they have a good legal reason. I like to hear it. But uh, Alan Dershowitz says that they want to limit it to 10, and he doesn't agree to that. So he's asking the judge to allow for more than 10 depositions. That's what this is all about. So in the first paragraph, he goes on to explain to the judge how um, the parties agreed back in 2019 when this case first started that during the discovery process, they would be able to depose more than 10 people. But recently, um, when the lawyers talked, Virginia Roberts lawyers wanted to limit that number back to 10. And uh, that and uh, Alan Dershowitz doesn't agree. So he wants to he wants to get permission from the court, according to the Federal Rules of Civil Procedure, as I mentioned before, Rule 30, according to Alan Dershowitz, uh, the reason he thinks that they're trying to uh, stop the number of depositions, lower the number of depositions, is to prevent him from get getting uh, evidence. So this is what Alan Dershowitz says. This is transparently yet another effort by the plaintiff to stymie Professor Dershowitz uh, in his ability to gather facts and prepare for trial. Um, I don't know if that's the reason. Like I said, there might be a technical reason why they want to cut the deposition short, but I don't know it yet. So if Virginia Roberts' side provide provides a good legal reason, I'll be covering that. But personally, I want as many depositions as possible because that's always a good thing. The more evidence we have, the better. Uh, Rule 30 does say that the depositions cannot be repetitive or duplicative. So as long as the, the judge finds it to be reasonable, for these people to be deposed, then Alan Dershowitz will be able to depose them. And we're going to go through the list of people he wants to depose. So that being said, we get to the first first thing I want to cover here, update. This is something that a lot of people have been waiting for, which is for Leslie Wexner to be deposed. And according to Alan Dershowitz, he has already taken five depositions, one of which includes Leslie Wexner. Okay, so last time we talked, we discussed how um, Alan Dershowitz was, was asking for Leslie Wexner to appear for an hour-long deposition by teleconferencing, and the judge allowed that. Judge Preska said, fine, you can do that, and he has done that. So obviously, it's not going to be released because it's a civil lawsuit, and it's not going to be public for a while, but maybe eventually we'll get to see what the deposition said during the uh, trial, trial phase. But this is the discovery phase where evidence is being admitted. So both sides are trying to gather evidence that helps their case um, right now. OK, so that's what this process is all about. And he all he goes on to explain the four categories of people that he wants to um, he wants to take depositions from. Number one, plaintiffs, friends and family. Number two, former Epstein household employees like Juan Alessi, uh, Virginia Roberts, former attorneys who represented her when she originally publicly accused uh, Alan Dershowitz and also Leslie Wexner. Uh, number four, a witness 
named Caroline, who recently testified in the U.S. versus Maxwell trial as to plaintiff's own critical role as part of Epstein's trafficking operation in recruiting her to provide sex to Epstein for money. So you guys remember that during Caroline's testimony, she talked about how uh, Virginia Roberts brought her to uh, to Jeffrey Epstein. OK, so the, he said that this this conviction of Maxwell helped him because Caroline's testimony proved that Virginia Roberts was a willing participant with Jeffrey Epstein. That's the claim that Alan Dershowitz made. And he said that that this conviction and that testimony from uh, from uh, Caroline helped his civil case. OK, that's the argument he's making. So he wants to depose Caroline, who testified against Maxwell uh, for the government during the U.S. versus Maxwell trial. So that's another significant development. Alan Dershowitz wants to depose Caroline OK, to get evidence against Virginia Roberts. So in the first section here, he explains why he wants to talk to Virginia Roberts, friends and family. For one thing, Professor Dershowitz is entitled to ask these witnesses whether she ever told them that she had um, any kind of a pro inappropriate contact with Professor Dershowitz. And more than that, a Dershowitz is also entitled to inquire these witnesses whether plaintiff ever did or said anything to suggest to them that she had been a victim of trafficking and uh, assault as alleged in the second amended complaint. So he's basically trying to take apart her complaint against him by talking to the family members and hope he's hoping to get answers that say that Virginia Roberts was not disturbed in any way. She was not disheveled in any way during these times that she claims that she was abused by Alan Dershowitz. It is anticipated that plaintiffs, family and friends will testify that contrary to the allegations of plaintiff's second amended complaint, which we went over, a plaintiff never exhibited any signs that she was being abused or victimized in any way. And to the contrary, that she enjoyed her time with Jeffrey Epstein, that she lived in an apartment paid for by Epstein, and that she came and went as she pleased, that she was well compensated for bringing these girls in. This is the claim that Alan Dershowitz is making, and that she bragged about recruiting other girls to work for Epstein. So obviously he's putting in his own spin um, when it comes to this testimony, and he will have to actually prove this. So he's just talking right now. Okay, he will have to get the deposition from these people to prove that this all this stuff is actually true. That that Virginia Roberts was actually a well compensated employee. He's basically saying that Virginia Roberts was a willing participating employee of. Jeffrey Epstein's abuse operation. That's what she, he just claimed here. That's a very tall claim. So hopefully he has the evidence to back that up. And I doubt it. But nevertheless, um, he can talk. He's a big talker. All he does is talk. Uh, he has pr he has produced almost no evidence to support any of his claims. And but nevertheless, let's see if he does. OK, I'm always open to evidence and I'm open to um, calling anyone a liar if they are actually proven to be a liar. So I'm not biased at all. Um, he goes on to say not only would this testimony undermine plaintiff's claim that she was abused by Professor Dershowitz and the veracity of her claims generally, but it is also relevant to her reputation as an advocate for trafficking victims, which she claims Professor Dershowitz has wrongfully damaged, that's the defamation suit, as well as her alleged other damages. These witnesses can also testify to the other relevant observations of plaintiffs during this time period, including, for example, her drug use. So he's trying a familiar strategy of bringing up her drug use and trying to destroy her credibility based on that. Juries no longer bribe this stuff, right? Drug use... OK, whatever. Does that mean that none of this stuff happened? No. So the drug use thing, I'm, I'm, an, I'm annoyed of that. Back in the 1990s, when we had a drug craze in America where everybody was freaking out about drugs, these arguments used to work. And also in the 80s and 70s, actually going back to most of American history, people who were doing drugs were seen as some kind of criminals automatically. But that is no longer the case. The zeitgeist has changed in America. And uh, Dershowitz goes on to explain the next section that he has a lot of records, travel records from the 2000s, and Virginia Roberts has produced very little. And he claims that he's trying to use these travel records to show that he was nowhere near Virginia Roberts when this so-called abuse happened. So he, again, he's trying to use 
uh, th those documents to prove that she's lying. So this is his argument against Virginia Roberts. Next section, third category of witnesses is co uh, comprised of plaintiff's former attorneys. And he claims here that Virginia Roberts conspired with her attorneys to publicly and falsely accuse him as part of a plot to extort uh, Leslie Wexner and also Alan Dershowitz. In addition, certain of the witnesses in this category, namely David Boyce and Sigrid McCauley, were party to the conversations with Professor Dershowitz, which plaintiff has directly put at issue in her second amended complaint, including by suing Professor Dershowitz for violating the federal wiretap statute. So he wants to talk to her lawyers because he's claiming that there was a plot to blackmail him and Leslie Wexner to get money from Leslie Wexner by Virginia Roberts. And he wants to depose the lawyers, her lawyers, to prove this fact. So he wants the lawyers, Virginia Roberts lawyers, to sit for depositions as well. Okay. And finally, Dershowitz seeks to depose Caroline, who testified in the U.S. versus Maxwell trial, um, saying that Virginia Roberts, knowing Caroline was underage, recruited her to perform uh, sexual massages for Jeffrey Epstein, brought her to Epstein's home for that purpose, and told her to lie about her age if asked. Caroline's testimony contradicts plaintiff's allegations that she was a victim rather than a co-conspirator in Jeffrey Epstein's trafficking operations and speaks to her reputation as an advocate of trafficking victims, which she claims Professor Dershowitz has wrongfully injured. Okay, so you guys see where he's going with this. The only point of agreement I have is that I want all the depositions in the world because I want actual evidence. I want all the relevant evidence to be turned over. I want I want testimony from her family members confirming that she actually went through all this stuff because we haven't heard from everybody. If I'm not mistaken, the only person from Virginia Roberts family that has testified is her mom. She talked to the original uh, cops back in Florida, obviously, and she also testified, I believe, to support Caroline's story along with Caroline. Caroline's boyfriend, if I'm not mistaken, that's from the uh, U.S. versus Maxwell trial. So that's the only person that they've talked to. So I want to see more evidence from Virginia Roberts' friends and other people in her family that verifies and cooperates her story because she's making serious accusations against Alan Dershowitz. And even though we don't like him, he does have a legal right to defend himself against the allegations that are being made. So I don't see any legitimate reason to limit the depositions here. I hope Judge Preska agrees to just give him however many depositions he wants, as long as they're not repetitive, um, as long as there's a legal reason for the depositions to be taken. And Federal Rules of Civil Procedure Rule 30 does allow for uh, credible depositions, relevant depositions to be taken in a civil litigation, okay? So as always, Judge Preska will look at the arguments and review them from both sides, and she'll make her decision probably in the next uh, couple weeks. Um, I want to see Regina Roberts' response to this particular document, and I'll be covering that as well if they have any uh, significant uh, opposition that is legally valid uh, against uh, Alan Dershowitz here. And with that being said, I'll see you guys all in my next video. Make sure to like the video, subscribe, hit the bell, and press all for future videos. And uh, if you want to support my work, you can do so on Patreon. There'll be a link in the description box down below. You can support the show for just $1 a month, and you can watch videos ad-free on Patreon, and you can also contact me directly through the Patreon Messenger. With that being said, see you guys in my next video. As always, peace. You may consider yourselves officially updated.